Hi, I'm Jay Dernbach and this is my best 11 I've played with. Opening the batting for me at number one, I think is none other than Sir Alistair Cook. Lucky enough to play with him at the start of my England career. He was a wonderful captain and obviously quite a wonderful player. In at number two and opening the batting with Alistair Cook is Rory Burns, my Surrey captain. Lucky enough having the opportunity to play test cricket at the moment. Wonderfully talented individual. Number three, another guy I played with at Surrey uh, with a fantastic record, Mark Rampakash. Doesn't get much better than the bloke who scored 100 hundreds for you. So turning up with him on your side, you certainly guaranteed run. So for me, Mark Rampakash comes in at number three. Um, in at number four, we have Ricky Ponting. He was uh, one of our overseas players when I was at Surrey. What a fantastic player he was, but more importantly, a great bloke. In at number five, we have Kevin Peterson. Again, lucky enough to play with him at Surrey and with England. Uh, an absolute maverick of the game. Certainly from my point of view, changed change the landscape for batting in this country, for England and, and, and around the world. Number six, we have Kumar Sangakkara. Again, what a wonderful man, great student, um, wealth of knowledge. He was brilliant around the Surrey lads. We were lucky enough to have him as our overseas players. At number seven, I have Ben Stokes. Um, we all know, obviously now, how good a player he is. Um, I was lucky enough to tour with him a couple of times with the England A side and then again into the full England side and to see what, what natural talent he had across all three facets, whether that be catching, batting or bowling. And his numbers are now starting to stack up. Number eight, we've got Shane Warne. Um, I don't really know where to start with him. The bloke has taken over 600 test wickets. Uh, wonderful, wonderful player. Great bloke as well. Played with him over in the Big Bash um, for the Melbourne Stars. So I had an opportunity to spend time with one of the modern day greats. So. It was a great privilege and honour, and again, to see someone like that apply his trade day in, day out was quite special. Uh, in at number nine, I have Stuart Broad. Probably batting a little bit high, though. Um, Broady, again, he's been a wonderful player. You know, him and, him and um, his other partner down the other end, which we'll touch on later. But, you know, Broady's going to be probably our second leading wicket-taker of all time by the time he finishes playing. So you can't really argue with that. Number ten, we have Jimmy Anderson. And uh, Jimmy Anderson was certainly my, the guy I sort of looked up to when I first broke into first class cricket. His ability to swing the ball both ways, his accuracy, how, the longevity of career which he's been able to have to continue to take the wickets he has. And still doing it now is, is, um, is quite formidable really and something that I've always tried to emulate, try to learn from. And uh, yeah, he's just a, an awesome bowler. And propping up the bottom at number 11, is Mornay Morkel, uh, a revelation for us at Surrey, having come over and finished playing in international cricket with South Africa. He came in and helped us win our first championship in, uh, in quite a few years. So to be able to share dressing room with him, learn from one of the greats again, um, don't throw that term around loosely, he certainly is. His ability to change games in a matter of an instance is, is quite phenomenal. So to, to sit the other end and probably take a few cheap sculpts um, off the back of him was pretty special, so Warner Morkel rounds up my greatest 11 I've played with.